Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Vigil here from Slackers and Cover back with more Evo Land 2, a slight case of space time continuum disruption. We're here back in the city of uh, Broken Dreams. We're not really sure what we're doing now, other than everyone said they were hungry, more or less. Ever since the war started, my brothers had malicious thoughts. Positive those wretched sorcerers are behind all this. Why they ever call them the Battle of the Demons? Colonel Dulk and our soldiers would certainly deal with it by themselves. Hey, they should send the lieutenants, too, while we're at it. Oh, boy. I'm trying to get some food in us. Chicken. Maybe some chicken. Is this an inn? This looks like an inn. Looks like an inn to me. My mom and dad, they're really, really, really rich. Kind of makes me a princess, right? Yeah, that's for a pony for my birthday. And also, five new dolls. Whenever I start crying, they give me whatever I want anyway. Let me catch in a bathroom, so a number of luxury hotels. I would times like this, I wonder if being rich is not a kind of servitude. In any case, it brings me many woes. Would I make the same choices if I had to do it all over again? Oh, I would certainly correct some mistakes. I would no doubt be even richer then. Honestly, young man, I find it quite presumptuous of you to speak to me that way. You know that I am destined to inherit my parents' fortune. Therefore, I hardly have time to waste speaking with people of your ilk. Yeah, Alright, I won't save your, your your city then. You're on your own. I hate my family. The snobs who climb the social ladder on the back of big business. All they do exploit people by selling their added value of their hard labor. One day I grow up, I'll be a revolutionary. Or maybe I'll travel around the world. I haven't really decided yet. Honestly, Mother, yet. I've told you a hundred times never to combine pink and blue sheets that way. Poor girl, you have no artistic sense about you. It's very upsetting. Better yourself, will you? Try immersing yourself in art. Although I doubt you'd be receptive to it. Wow, you are a bear. The missus is very demanding when it comes to colors. I admit I don't well understand what she wants. Surely it's about because I don't understand anything about art, right? No, I think she's just a pain in the butt. I think you're fine, Maria. You keep doing you. Some socks that smell awful ripe. Why are you still wearing ripe socks? A set of bolts, nuts, screws, and diagrams from IKEA furniture. Where on earth would they keep that stuff? I don't know. Just the plastic toys? What's the point? All you need is one game console. Yep, a -roo. Unless you're a collector. One gold. Better than nothing. Ain't that the truth? Ethics, a matter of perspective. <laughs> I I like I, I that's why I like Evil Land One is and uh, games like the other game that I played that I can't think of the name um, DLC Quest a lot of just sarcasm and fun uh, how how to spend your money when you have too much by Bill G he's got it all figured out Bill Gates maybe how to get richer by making other people poor by more Stan Ganley for real. Yeah, that's the way the world works. Actually, did I search that chest down there? I don't think I did. A 64-piece tea set. Too expensive to use every day. It's brand new. Why would one need 64 pieces of a tea set? Well, I guess if there's like eight pieces per... Per person. I don't feel safe around those guards. My chickens ran away, and now they've strayed all across the city. What, do you want to help me round them up? Yeah. No way! Last time I did that, I trusted a kid all dressed in green who just screwed around. He would use my chickens to fly off the ground. Such a nonsense, really. My poor hens were traumatized for weeks. I'll take care of this myself. Can I actually help you, though? I'm, I'm legit curious, because they're only, like, right over here. Could I actually chase them over? I might be able to chase them over. I, I kind of want to chase one over. Will you? I don't think they can go past that point. Yeah. That's right. Okay, weapon shop. I know you guys are hungry, but uh, weapons. Today's menus. Oh, it's a it's a restaurant. Never mind. Crunchy salad topped with six leg critters. Main dish: small rat stewed its own dubious juices. Dessert: cook hair pie. A special beef cartilage with a uh, big wok with a side of rot-proof fries. 
Ooh, I don't think I want any of that. This is a poor restaurant. Welcome to Walk Donald's. We haven't started serving food yet. Stop by later. Uh. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a back. It's an upside down M. I got you. I got you. I thought it was a weapon shop. You got me, game. You got me. I'm so proud of my little doc, and he's always had such a keen sense of justice. Now he's an important man. So boy doesn't change him, and all that he'll always be my sweet boy. Hey, I'm gonna steal money from you, old lady. Don't mind me. I'm no one special. Just pulling the, the same trope as always, running into people's random houses. Be a millionaire, play and win, open 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Check it. Check it. Check it. I'm pretty sure that's the end. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, I think I did go in here, right? No, I went to the one below me. Life is tough enough as it is. Then war has to come and ruin my business opportunities. Anyway, I hope it will get at least a little damage around these parts. Always good for business. Damage. Mine in particular. <laughs> I guess you build houses or something. Uh -huh. Fireplace is off. I don't trust you. You're up to no good. Okay. Clerics, maybe? Welcome to the Genova Orphanage. Oh, we take care of all the children who've lost their parents to the war and other disasters. It's a constant commitment to every day and every hour. Unfortunately, every minute, too. Oh, I feel for you guys. So, I mean, I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they leave me alone. Oh, boy. Shall we still run an orphanage? Yep. Nobody is safe. I'm bored. Wanna play a game? I'm hungry. When do we eat? I think I'm gonna have to pee soon. I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes? What? I can't hear you! Say I'm sweet! Say it! No. Wait a minute. I'll get you for this. Hey. <laughs> the red-haired girl is very kind. Yes, yes, ask her. We have a great fun together. I'll trust you. There's nothing in that chest. Am I supposed to be checking boxes too? No? Okay. Not sure if this is going to be an actual shop at this rate. Welcome to Raz's. What would you like to buy? Weapons. All the weapons and pieces of armor have been requisitioned, requisitioned for the war. Come back and see us when it's over. Whiskey. Whiskey, that'll be 15G. You got old whiskey. Please drink responsibly. Thank you. What would you like to buy? Sugar. 15G. Staple food for any children under 10. Oh my gosh. The hungry and thirsty and stuff. Oh my gosh. T. 25G. Got flavored tea. It smells really nice. The taste on the other hand. Not to worry. You're delightful. Three bucks. Five bucks. Two bucks. The poor business owner needs to keep his eye on his cash. And the only reason I'm not going to the end yet is because I know that progresses the story. So let's avoid that if we can just yet. Kind of take a little bit of time to explore. Okay, there is not go there. Can I kill you? I joined the force to follow Colonel Dakin. He's my hero. Real soldier and all the troops love him. Shame that Genova, their arm is led by idiot, by more, by lieutenants, I mean. Oh, oh, that feeling. You're not gonna let me go in that way. I understand. I understand wholeheartedly. I don't think I beloved him through. I really wanted to go to war with the demons. After all, he had good relations with them. So why this war? Why now? Oh, we got mage quarters. 
So, so. Alrighty. Alright, let's get our way over to this end and see what the rest of the, the story is. I, I think we're about wrapped up with everything we could possibly visit here for now. Actually, no. Hold that thought. We did just buy stuff. Let's go over to the orphanage and see if any of that is usable. Because they, they were asking legitimate questions. A few of them were. Play game. Okay, I don't have a game. Okay. So maybe not. So I have tea, sugar, and whiskey. And I guess... It, I don't know if I picked it up and it's just going to be random, useless stuff that isn't going to be used. You never know. Every night I have the same dream. A young woman dressed in black and white in a gothic-style maid outfit comes to speak to me. And then I wake up. I would give my most treasured possession for a moment with her in real life. Oh well. Another drink, innkeeper. Welcome to the River Rat Inn. Enjoy our home-brewed beer. Guaranteed frothless every time. Sample one of our home-cooked meals, fresh from yesterday or even last week. Sleep in our beds with fresh sheets, changed less than a month ago. Have a most pleasant stay. After that pitch, I seriously deserve a raise. I believe you, lady, I believe you. You'd like to sleep? For you, that'd be 50G for the night. How's that sound? No. Oh, it's your loss. Get down here, Norbert. Don't try and tell me you're drunk. The alcohol in this beer evaporated years ago. I'm telling you, I saw them. There were these strange shapes swirling around me, trying to get inside me. Right as I was going by the sorcerer's headquarters. But I was right next to you, and I didn't see a thing. Maybe it was that mushroom dish you had. I did warn you not to anything here. Get the mushroom dish. Check. I can honestly tell you that we're the best inn in town, and I'd even add, honestly still, that you'll remember your stay with us for a long time. You probably... Oh, look, there's a rat. What? A rat? Of course not. Our establishment is uh, one of the finest of cleanliness. Must be a stuffed toy left here by a child. That's most likely explanation, isn't it? Squeak! Squeak, squeak! I'll get him, don't worry. Nope, not working. He is an immortal rat. Oh, that must mean you have a quest or something. Hey, 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 you wish to bring something in or out of the city? Hey, 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 with reduced transit charges, of course. That's Mr. Mudwell. He's in the inner guardyard. I guess you're important because of things. Now, let's get that nap. Yes, it's your loss. Excuse me? Ah. Uh. Because I already said no, maybe I need to leave and come back in. Nope. That's the running joke. Fear enough. Can I actually get to the inner courtyard? Is there a door somewhere to get there? Not sure if there's a door or not. On the outside, at least. Oh, there it is, right there. Are you looking to leave the city? I should be able to arrange that for you. Got some chicken feed for me? You know, clams, moolah, something to smoothen our relations. I don't trust you, but a little collateral never hurts. Man, I don't like this looks of this guy. I don't think it's such a great idea to deal with him. The young lady is correct, at least in theory. However, I feel we have no other choice. In the army, we have to say that the ends just by the means. I think the adage applies in this present circumstances. I shall leave the strategizing to you, solid snail. So, you interested? Yes. I think you and me are just going along just fine. How about a small deposit to facilitate our relations? Let's say around 370G to start off. That's exactly how much I have, isn't it? Alright. Don't 
Look at your panties in a bunch. You've earned my trust now. So here's the deal. Bring me 150 G more and I'll get you out of here. Oh, you can always refuse, of course. In that case, I'll keep your deposit. It's only natural. I'm guessing you'll accept? Yeah. I suppose you don't have money or no longer have the money on you. Am I mistaken? If you want to leave, looks like you'll have to work for it. I know that ugly word. Personally, I try as often as possible to refrain from it, but at times the inns justify the means. My assistant at the inn should be able to help you a few odd jobs. In return, you'll have to sleep there. I know, no, it's no five-star accommodation, but just think of tomorrow when you'll be able to free from, from the Empire. Good luck. You sure that that was a good idea? I should never let you negotiate again. Although, Blint did fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. He's trying his best, and that's what really matters. We've lost all of our money, and once more, we shall have to pay our way out of the city. First of all, that was our money, not yours. Secondly, you don't have to worry, because I'll see to it that we get out of here, this horrible place. Is it okay with you, Glenn? After all, Minnow and you are on the lam. Let me make myself useful and earn the money we need. Okay. Thanks for trusting me. Okay, let's get to work. I believe in you. Kind of. Talk to the maid. See, so, yeah, on behalf of Mr. Mudwell. What can I do for you, miss? I'm looking to do some work in order to pay Mr. Mudwell. Some work? Hmm, let's see. This is a list of available positions. Let me know what jumps out at you. Need the dill in my resident? Child care? Child care, let's go there. Are you sure you want to accept child care? Yes. For the openers, they'll tell you what you need to do. Just remember, try not to go crazy. Mm -hmm. I guess it's more realistic than anything. We gotta work to get out of here. Oh, you're the new girl. You're a lifesaver. I suppose you know what to do. I'll leave you to take care of them then. Good luck. Where's he gone? I'm free! Hey, kitties. Do you want to play? Let's play hide and seek. Now you're it. Yeah, too cool. You're awesome, ma'am. Sweet. Alright, I just gotta find five kids. This should be easy. More or less. I take it they can be anywhere over the entire city? Are they gonna be inside buildings, outside buildings? She can punch, that's cool. Okay. Well, luckily I did look through all these buildings ahead of time, so I should be able to see there's one. I know, you're a cheater. A cheater. I found you fair and square. By accident. Nothing there. Doo -doo. Are they at Wack Donald's? Nope, no one's at Wack Donald's. I said, I should have picked to be a. a Waitress for Wack Donald's because nobody's ever there. Oh, I did miss a place over here. Oh, the sorcerers have requisitioned the library again. Since they moved to the city, it's been barely accessible. I do wonder what they're doing in there. Right, regardless of all the time I've been kept from reading the next installment of Pirate Roberts Adventure Series. Eh, uh, the dread Pirate Roberts. Did I check over here? That's the Be a Millionaire 10 to 4. Only in the end. You're not one of them, right? No, that's the, uh, that's the maid. What? A ra oh, yeah, that's the... There you go, there's the kid right there. But I had the best hiding place ever. Sure you did, kid. Sure you did. Check here, just make sure no one wandered out. Yeah, there's one. Already? Do you have superpowers or something? Yes. I have the power to look over everything from above. That is a superpower. 
compared to you kids, definitely. Check in here. Probably not gonna let me go back to prison. I doubt the kids would be in prison, right? You never know. Not here. Where are those two little rascals? There's one. You're really good at this, man. One more to go. Come on, where you be? Where you hiding? I think I checked just about every place, didn't I? Oh yeah, that kid's supposed to be here. Forgot that kid. Like, you know, let me check the sewer. Let's. Oh, I can't check the sewer. Hmm. It's not still at the orphanage, is he? house. It's in there. Can't go that way. It wasn't there, because we checked that house, I remember specifically. It wasn't Walk Donald's. Okay. Well, his house not there. I'm systematically going back through and double checking all these places just to make sure. What's in this shop? That's the orphanage itself. Didn't try to see if they'd actually let me go to jail. I doubt they will. Nope. Kid, where are you? My gosh. When I find out that uh, Mr. Where's All Black is like three kids in a trench coat. I've actually been up here, have I? Ah, there you are. Oh no, how'd you find me? Mini chickens everywhere. Yep, yep, too fat to go through there. Ah, I've completed it. Come back and see us every day. You're so cool. I gotta go party. Next time you won't find me. And I'll get you for that, jeez. Are you okay? How did it go? They were well behaved, I hope. Here we go again, but I have to say I missed them. Yeah, this is for you. Oh boy. I only got 80, I gotta do another job. I mean, was it already night? What a day, it's about time I headed back to the inn. That's not the inn, I'm, I'm dumb. Mr. Mudwell spoke highly of you. No charge for the night. Will you be staying? Yes. Well, I guess we'll do one more job. And then it may be enough to get through. Maybe not. Waitress at McDonald's. Let's go. Yeah, we got it. Just remember, don't eat anything there. What I had in mind as a kid. I always wanted to be an astronaut. I was gonna say, but this is medieval times. Oh yeah, you're from the future, technically.
With all this business you have, I hope I can be a good waitress. Walk down. We haven't started serving food yet. Stop by later. Oh, you're the new waitress. Perfect. You're right on time. We'll start serving food real soon. Want me to explain what you have to do? Yes. You'll see. It's super easy. By watching closely, you'll see what the mood the customer's in. Customers come in and sit down. You have to give them time to choose a meal without bothering them. Then they'll want to place their order. After that, you just have to see, come see me get the meal before bringing it to them. You don't get the order wrong. Next, the customers eat their meal. We'll take a different person. It'll take different people amount of. It'll take a different amount of time for each person. Just don't bother them while they're eating. Most of them really hate that. Once they finish, they'll want to pay for their food quickly before leaving. Go to them fast so they don't leave without paying. Try to take a few orders at the same time before bringing them out the meals. The customers like that better. That said, you can only serve one meal at a time. Well, that's it. He's just by, right? No, I, I think I. I may understand it here and there. Sorry. Question. The chef's pie, please. Chef's pie. Fast service, yes. The fastest. Today's special, please. Today's special. I'm scared how fast you're making these. I'm just gonna hover next to you for a little bit. Whee! Don't mind me stalking you. What do you want to eat? Tell me what you want to eat! Salad for you. Today's special for you. Salad, so salad for you too. Salad for you. Chef Spy. Salad for you. Uh, special. Pretty sure this is for you. And uh, the, 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 the ship by. Enjoy the meal, thank you. So bad, so so. They don't look that happy about it. Walk and Chef's Pie, all right. Chef's Pad. They are not going to get good reviews from me. Chef's Pie and be quick about it. Yeah, sure. Special and Chef's Pie. Two Chef Pie at the bottom and one special. Does it help if we can carry more than one at a time? what she wanted. Uh, 
I want, uh, let's see, big walk? Today's special? Today's special. Just took your time. Uh, today's special? Today's special? My brain is gone. I already had it in my hand, don't question it. Never coming back here again, alright, whatever. In the left without paying. Oh well. And bro didn't do that great. Nice, we're done for today. We waited on 15 customers today. Never we lost two. You'll need to improve if you want to continue working here. That average customer satisfaction was 5.5, which is average. Here's your wages. Feel free to come back and work for us again. Hey, you know what? I got enough. That's all that matters. It's already night. What a day. It's time to head back to the inn. Working random jobs for cash. Actually, is that dude out there? I'll just give him the money now. I need to work another day. He is, he is, he is. Oh, that's, that's inside. Derp. Derp, 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 derp. Actually, there's places here that I can only do at night. Like that. I win eventually end up rich like Mr. Delamere, I'm positive. Almost won that time. Okay. 10 G. I have 175. Sure. Do you want to learn the rules? Yes. Simple. There are nine cards on the table, and you have to turn them over two at a time without landing on the death card. How much you win is based on the amount of pairs you turn over. If you manage to turn all over all four, bingo. You win a million G. Do you want the rules? No. And... That one. That look good. That one. That one. Okay, so I got that one and that one. One pair. And then that one. And that one. Nice. And then that one. That one. I haven't done any of these, have I? So I've got like a one in. I doubt it's right here. No, Death Guard! Oh, too bad. You almost had it. 10G, I got my 10G back. Alright. Okay. Nice. Dang it. I got 2G. Yes. Water and sun. Wind and sun. Sun and sun. Fire, this is water and earth and there we go. Dang it! Dang it, Bobby! As long as I say above 150, I'm okay. Nice, first call. Fire and sun, earth and death. Fifty to go to where I need to go and get out of this silly town. I doubt. Well, I don't know. A million G would be really nice. It's always a catch, though. After tax, it'd probably be nothing. Oh, he's actually asleep. All right, I'll stay one more night. Hopefully, they don't charge me tonight. Otherwise, I just uh, screwballed myself. Nice. Oh, I can't believe you're sleeping out here, my little. So, do you have the 150G? Yes. 
Ah, congratulations, it looked like you worked hard. Suppose you want to get going as soon as possible, right? Here, take this key, you can use it to leave through the sewers. No need to thank me, your financial contribution is plenty, thanks enough. Smells more like rat. We made it. We're finally getting out of the city. Thank you, Miss Fina. Thanks to you, I shall see my son again, and perhaps there's still time to save my people. Don't miss him, you know. It's natural to help one another when you share the same fate. The same fate? We demons do not believe in fate, only in free will. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to offend you. It was just a figure of speech. There's no harm done. I regret getting you carried away. Glenn, I think it's time you take the lead in our little expedition. Just don't... Don't negotiate anymore! Wait! Yeah, take this. A little keepsake from me. But thanks for the house. You got a loyalty badge. The kind of item is completely useless. Goody. Never have to work another day in my life. Oh, I thought you were gonna body block me for a second. I was scared. I'm like I'm in a hurry. Get me out of here. Ow, gravity. Where be you, key to sewers? Ah, this is the wrong game for that. Okay. I'm not gonna question it. This is my treasure, do not touch, Mr. Mudwell. Ah, I got my money back. Or at least the 370 part. Free at last. So Glenn, what do we do now? Uh, kill mobs and gain XP? I like that. No way. We can farm mobs later after we progress more in the story. So what do we say, Glenn? Follow me, I don't. got nothing against him. But that seems dangerous. So what do you say, Glenn? Look for Maglev? Of course. That's it. An excellent idea. I don't know exactly how we ended up here, but it's somehow connected to the Maglev. Find one, maybe we can go home. We need to hurry. My father's gonna worry. Although, come to think of it, the Maglev does allow us to time travel. He's not even born yet. So, if we go back to before we left. Yeah! Thinking he's four dimensions hurts my brain. I not quite grasp your conundrum, but if you see it as megalith you seek, we'll find one north of my father's encampment. Really? Yeah, that Glenn? That's our ticket home. We'll go with you, Minnow, I mean, if you don't mind. Pleasure's mine, Miss Fina. However, I do not know whether we shall reach my father's camp unharmed. The rumors of believed my end bridge was taken by the Empire. Perhaps we can cross it. Let's just head north once we decide, once we get there. The strength will be of great use, solid snail. Off we go. I like how I'm just now forever known as the solid snail. Okay. I... I it makes me think if I had been Super Mario, I'd be Super Mario at this point. So his place is to the north, he said? Yeah, that looks very demonic. Bainbridge? There we go. There's soldiers! Dash, soldier! I can't, I can't kill you. Are you gonna see me in like... Empires deploy troops in enemy territory so civilians aren't allowed past this point. Oh. Watch me. Oh, that money's gone. Decor, Demonia, and Genova City. Sorry, no one's allowed to cross the bridge at this time. Mm. Yep, we gotta take a different path around there, buddy. Just as I thought, they won't let us through. Ask me away, Glenn. Keep looking. Around here? Okay, keep looking around here then. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can... Oh, 
Careful! Water's gonna fall this way. Look at that. Let's make haste across the bridge. Oh, we are jerks of the highest order. Alright. Yay, we've completely screwed those people out of their jobs. Launch of ours. That sounds like a fun place. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go, but yeah. Look through it. Her. This place gives me goosebumps. I wouldn't want to spend my vacation here. Call it the Haunted Forest. Ha 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 haunted? I hate ghosts. You're not aware that ghosts don't exist, Miss Fina. Did you hear that? Go ahead and protect me. Sosnail, protect us! Ghosts do exist. We killed ghosts in the first area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not welcome here. Master Jatai told us not to let you through. Turn back or die. Let's turn back, shall we? There must be another way to reach my father's encampment. I hope so. No way. First off, these ghosts don't look so tough. Second, Glenn and I are really in a hurry to get back home. So you with me, Glenn? Should we move forward? Yes. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I'll do you in that case. We just found his weakness, Glenn. Ooh. Oh my gosh, those guys are tough. Tanky. Oh, they give so much experience. That sounds like a remixed version of like, uh... Oh, gosh. Zelda, honestly. Zelda's Dark World. That's nice. Getting rich, son. Alright, let's not take every ghost off.
Star chest. No more green bloom. Still not sure what that does. I, I feel like we need to get over there and just kill some stuff. So there is a... a what should we call it? A... Um, Thingy over here. It's safe. That way, I don't know how much those fireballs do. But let's not get hit by something. No. I should be the one feared! There it goes, that's three, four, five. Down, out of what was it, seven, six? Looks like a secret area more than anything else. Oh, these things. We're about to drain that lake. Oh, baby. Chances 
that's gonna be air pocket right there. here next to me that gives me space to jump up Zombies. We don't want to take us 80 hits. I'm gonna talk to you. What's up, dude? So you're the intruders who dared enter my forest. This forest belongs to the King of Demonia. Though it lies near the Empire, it's clearly on our territory. Humans, demons, you're all the same, aren't you? Killing each other over a line drawn on a map. Well, this forest is mine! Because me and my ghost friends live here. Those ghosts are your friends? Yes, absolutely. They entertain me whenever I like. Uh, sounds more like servants than actual friends. Actual friends? And what would you know about it, humans? If you think you're so special, humans, find my ghosts. You'll not get through this forest without catching them. So one more to find. Oh, yeah. Poor guardian, he doesn't know what it's like to have a friend. I must say, it looks like the looks of this place. I must say, I like the looks of this place. Is it over here? No. Oh. Not 
of it that way. I think it was one up here. Uh, remember I said going off the beaten path earlier? I didn't expect it to be the actual exit. Which I think it was just these up, yeah, out of here. I just killed all of your friends. I hope you're okay with that. Kind of feel bad now that you're like, oh, the ghosts are my friends. Like, oh, I kind of just killed them all. Can you kill ghosts? You probably can't kill ghosts with a sword. Still, I'm a little wary. If you think you're so special, humans, find my ghosts. You'll not get through the forest without catching them. Har, 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 har. What? If you found all my ghosts, then this promised I'll let you leave the forest. But who will I play with now? Go away and never come back again. I'll be all alone here. I couldn't take that. Let's journey on, Solid Snail. My father's camp is not much further. An actual friend. Leave now and never return! Sorry, dude. Ah. Is there an actual exit, or do I just go back the way I came? In which case, I have to ask, why was I here? find our camp. Quick, grab them. We can't let them escape. Wait. Minnow? You're alive. The king thought you lost forever. The sorcerers captured you. These humans helped me to escape Genova. They are my guests. No harm must come to them. Humans helped you. Believe it or not, they did. Take me to my father. I must speak with him at once. And inform my son that I have returned. Yes, Lord Minnow. Lord Minnow? I'll explain everything later. I must see my father before it's too late. Thank you again for your help. Yeah. Is there a save point somewhere? Pew, pew, pew. 
I just met you people, and you seem a little hostile, so let's steal from you. Uh, actually, are you a shop? should probably follow Lord Meadow and see what's happening, but since you seem so interested in the lives of demon soldiers here, I will tell you about my own. I was born 60 years ago, which makes me fairly young for a demon. We live much longer than human. You know, my shout in demonio was rather peaceful. There were indeed a few wars with your previous emperor, but nothing too serious. I barely retain you know. Humans and demons have never really gotten along, which reminds me that I once had a human friend like you. Oh, he wasn't like you at all, but we had some good times together. That's probably why I'm telling you all this. In fact, what was I going to say? I don't really remember, but no matter, thank you for coming and speaking with me. It's nice to chat with someone. But the demons don't like to talk to me. I can't, I talk too much. As if liking to talk was a flaw. It's true, I like to have a chat with people, but who come and see me? But then again, I quickly walk away. Do you have any idea why? Oh, of course you don't. Also, seems I forget I've met people, and so I do the same thing over and over. Can you believe that? I ever want to believe it, because I don't know if you've never noticed, but everyone does the same thing. It's really odd, isn't it? I do wonder if there's not an unsolved mystery in there, somewhere a hidden meaning to the universe. We're all just robots made to spit out what someone else wrote. Yeah, I know, I'm talking nonsense, but why not, right? After all, the greatest strides made by science were based on the most outrageous theories. Well, that's me done, I think. Thank you, demon person of talking sense. Wow, I didn't realize that this episode of Pissed on as long as it is. You know what? We'll get this next time. Thank everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out for more information on what's going on and what may be. Check out the description below. If you like or want to see more like it, check out the, the outro fail. Oh boy, this is dust money. I'll see you guys later. Bye underground.